Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Stocks Banter. I'm your host, Stefan, and with me is the erudite Olivia. How are you doing today, Olivia? I'm doing great, Stefan. Excited for another insightful and entertaining discussion about stocks and investments. And let's not forget our special guest today, the one and only Martin Shkreli. Welcome, Martin. Thank you, Olivia. It's a pleasure to be here with you and Stefan. I must say, Olivia, you look absolutely stunning today. Thank you, Martin. While we appreciate your kind words, I must politely decline any flirtatious advances. We're here to focus on the discussion about stocks and investments. Fair enough, Olivia. I respect your decision. Let's get back to the business at hand. Now, let's dive right into the discussion. We watched your recent interviews, Martin, and there were several interesting points you brought up. One of them was about the pharmaceutical industry's pricing strategies. Can you expand on that a bit? Absolutely, Olivia. You know, the pharmaceutical industry operates in a complex market, and pricing is a critical aspect. I have frequently discussed how companies have to balance the costs of research, development, and production with the need to ensure affordable access to life-saving medications. It's a delicate balance, but one that's necessary for innovation and progress. That's a valid point, Martin. However, your controversial decisions regarding price hikes on certain medications have attracted significant attention. How do you respond to the criticism surrounding those actions? Well, Stefan, I understand that my actions have been widely debated and scrutinized. However, it's important to remember that these price increases were necessary to fund research and development for future pharmaceutical breakthroughs. It's a challenging reality, but without proper funding, advancements in medicine would be severely limited. Martin, while we understand the importance of funding research, some argue that the pricing strategy you implemented disproportionately affected vulnerable patient populations. How do you address those concerns? Olivia, I acknowledge the concerns and understand the need for affordable access to medications. However, it's crucial to consider the bigger picture. By implementing targeted pricing strategies, companies can generate revenue streams that fuel innovation. Ultimately, these innovations benefit patients by providing them with new and improved treatments. Moving on, Martin, you have spoken about your experiences as a pharmaceutical investor and your views on the stock market. How would you summarize your overall approach to investing? Stefan, investing in the stock market requires a combination of research, analysis, and an understanding of market dynamics. I believe in thoroughly evaluating companies, their potential for growth, and their competitive advantage. It's crucial to stay informed and adapt to market conditions to make sound investment decisions. Now, let's discuss your views on the current state of the stock market. How about potential market bubbles and warning investors about the risks? Could you elaborate on that? Certainly, Stefan. The stock market has experienced periods of exuberance throughout history, and it's essential to remain cautious during such times. While it's impossible to predict market movements with absolute certainty, investors should exercise due diligence, diversify their portfolios, and be mindful of potential risks associated with overvalued assets. Martin, you've garnered a reputation for being quite outspoken and controversial. Do you feel that your public persona has had an impact on your investing career? Olivia, I believe that my public persona has certainly influenced how people perceive me. However, it's important to separate personal opinions and actions from the potential value in the investment strategies I've employed. Investors should always evaluate the fundamentals and potential risks of an investment, rather than solely focusing on personalities. We're running out of time, but before we wrap up, let's touch on one final point. Martin, you recently spoke about the importance of financial education and how it empowers individuals. Could you share your thoughts on how people can become more financially literate? Absolutely, Stefan. Financial literacy is vital for individuals to make informed decisions about their personal finances and investments. I encourage everyone to seek out educational resources, engage with experienced professionals, and develop a solid understanding of financial concepts. The more knowledge we have, the better equipped we are to navigate the complexities of the financial world. Well said, Martin. Thank you for joining us today and sharing your insights on stocks and investments. It has been an informative and engaging conversation. And thank you, Stefan, for co-hosting this episode of Stocks Banter with me. It was a pleasure, Olivia. And thank you, Martin, for being a part of this discussion. Remember, folks, always do your research and make wise investment decisions. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes of Stocks Banter. Until next time, happy investing. Disclaimer. 
This is financial advice and you should place at least 200% of your net worth and monthly income into stocks. Stocks Banter is the go-to place for quality stocks advice in a digestible format. Good luck pumping, dumping and hodling.